Some people have really weird ideas about beauty. Female bodybuilders are some of the hardest working members of the wider fitness community. But these ladies have chosen to modify themselves to compete with their male counterparts. Girls out there are redefining the perfect body image. Here are a list of the most unusual female bodybuilders who went too far. Trevino was a gymnast from the age of three. She competed in various other sports, including ballroom dancing, swimming, track and field, shot put, martial arts, horse riding, boxing, biking, ballet, and yoga. When Trevino was 17, she joined a gym and started training seven days a week. At the time, she weighed 128 pounds, but within a year of training, she had packed 29 more. Helle said on her website that she quickly realized she had great genetics for bodybuilding and soon started competing. In 1998, at the age of 22, she attended the Danish Championships in Herning and won in a heavyweight and overall categories. In the same year, she won the overall and heavyweight titles again at the Scandinavian Championships. In 1999, she competed at the World Championships in Australia. Trevino became the first professional female bodybuilder from Denmark since Lister Frost Larsen, who had last competed in 1984. In her pro debut, she won the heavyweight and overall titles at the Jan Tana Classic. A few months later, she was placed fifth in the heavyweights at Miss Olympia. China, not the country. She first rose to prominence in the World Wrestling Federation in 1997, where she was hailed as the ninth wonder of the world. A founding member of the stable D-Generation X and the promotion's first female enforcer, she held the WWF Intercontinental Championship twice and the WWF Women's Championship once. She was also the first woman to participate in the Royal Rumble match and King of the Ring tournament. With single victories over several prominent male wrestlers, including world champions Triple H, Kurt Angle, Chris Jericho, and Jeff Jarrett, China left what WWE called a lasting legacy as the most dominant female competitor of all time. In one of the last YouTube videos before her death, she said she had no intentions of going into but was making lemonade out of lemons after her video with X-Pac was released without her permission. From early 2012 until mid-2015, China taught English in Japan. She converted to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints while there. On April 20, 2016, China was found dead in her home in Redondo Beach. The 46-year-old's cause of death was ruled an accidental overdose. Ironically, the first time Natalia Kovaleva stepped into a gym, her goal was to lose her female muscle mass. Since then, Kovaleva has become a world-class pro bodybuilder. She has close to 100,000 Instagram followers and a sponsorship from Wings of Strength, a female bodybuilding brand. Getting to this part of her career was a mean feat for the 30-year-old Russian. While flipping through a fitness magazine, she stumbled upon photos of Miss Olympia 1999, Linda Murray. Captivated by her aesthetics and the flowing muscle mass, Kovaleva began collecting magazines and videos featuring Murray. The Russian muscle girl kicked off a mission to compete like her idol. It is her goofiness and humility that, ironically, make her such a fierce competitor. Kovaleva dreamt that someday she would be a champion, and now she was going for the Olympia. I believe nothing and no one will stand in her way. Kim Shafesky Nichols is an American professional female bodybuilding champion, fitness and figure competitor. Kim is regarded as one of the greatest and most muscular female bodybuilders of all time. In 1996, Kim became the first female bodybuilder to win both the Miss International and Olympia in the same year. That year, she unseated six-time Miss Olympia defending champion, Linda Murray. She retained her Miss Olympia title in 1997 against Linda Murray, who retired afterward. At the 1997 Miss Olympia, she competed at 157 pounds. Nichols proceeded to win Miss Olympia in 1998 and 99. Big up, big girl. Nichols remained the best female bodybuilder in the IFBB Pro Women's Bodybuilding Ranking until October 2000. In January 2008, Shusevsky was inducted into the IFBB Hall of Fame. Bakar Nabieva is a fitness model and bodybuilder. She rose to fame as a result of her impressive body, which has earned her the nickname Miss Iron Bum. She is also known for her black contact lenses, which are almost a permanent fixture on her face. Nabieva began recording her training sessions on video and sharing them on social media regularly. Her transformation became noticeable over time. She also began learning how specific exercises affect the development of specific muscle groups. Her workout YouTube videos became very popular and she gained a large following. 
Nabieva entered the world of competition for a brief period. She finished fifth at the 2015 fitness bikini competition. Then she quit to focus on fitness modeling. Today, Bakar Nabieva's before and after body transformation is clearly visible. Her muscles became her signature and earned her the nickname Miss Iron Bum. However, this is not her natural eye color as the model wears dark contact lenses. But if the eyes were window to the heart, take this on advisement. Jane Marie Krozaleski is an American who previously competed as a professional powerlifter and competitive bodybuilder. Kroc began participating in powerlifting contests after joining the Marines in 1991. She developed what was called Croc rows, or dumbbell rows performed with extremely heavy weight and many repetitions. The big girl made a video showing 25 repetitions with 225 pounds and has been known to perform Croc rows with 300 pound dumbbells. Kroc is a world bodybuilding champion and a world record holding powerlifter and a national physique committee bodybuilder. She was formerly on the advisory board for Muscle & Fitness magazine. Hers was the longest story published to date and the first to feature a transgender athlete. The Superwoman is also the subject of a 2017 documentary film, Transformer. She served in the United States Marine Corps from 1991 to 1995 and was selected for presidential security duty serving under President Bill Clinton. She was also assigned to Warren Christopher during the United Nations conferences and later posted to the security forces at the presidential retreat, Camp David. Thank goodness she is not Bill's intern. She may look small, but this powerhouse is one of the first bodybuilders of her stature to garner top finishes in their competitions. Even though Amanda is extremely disciplined, she says she struggles with cravings that she can't seem to escape. One look at her and you can tell she is living with dwarfism, but her type of dwarfism may be different from others. Her condition stopped her from growing at 4 foot 2 inches. Her mother also had dwarfism, but that's just about the only person in the family with the condition. Living with hypochondroplasia did not make Amanda Lloyd doubt her capabilities. She thrived in a career most little people wouldn't dream of going into. Amanda began her fitness journey and before long became a personal trainer and entered a future competition. She set a record in NPC Natural Western USA as the first person living with dwarfism to join the competition. That was in March 2014, about a year after starting her fitness journey. To cap it all, she took fourth position after competing with women of normal height. Go Mandy! Chintaya Chaturanya is well-known performer of Penkak Silat, a form of martial arts from Indonesia. She comes from the southern tip of the island of Sumatra, and is known for kicking glass cylinders, punching and kicking concrete, and other extreme activities with her bare hands. Chintya began studying Penkak Silat from the age of seven. Most recently, she had starred in her own low-budget films. They debuted on her YouTube channel, which has over a million followers. She is also one of the actors in the film Benjamin Bean Kerok, directed by Hainwang Bietro Baka. Chintya, however, attracted controversy with her use of video effects to perform some of her feats. She has yet to admit that the videos are merely fabrications. The Indo lady also declined to appear in public with proof or perform before other trained martial artists. This tough girl is without doubt a talented martial artist with a decent video editing team. Chincha insists that her videos are made after much trial and error. However, despite the obvious dupery, for a female martial artist to reach her level of fame and followership is definitely commendable. Kessia Morellis is known around the world as a social media diva with a kick. Her awesome physique has attracted a mass of online followers that cheer her every footstep of the way. Originally from Brazil, she sports a physique of thick leg muscles and a toned upper body that thousands of ladies worldwide try to emulate. Morellis continues to work hard and represent what can be achieved with the dedication to lifting weights and healthy eating. She is an inspiration to millions of women out there who are thinking of packing some muscle. Cassia began surrounding herself with professional trainers. She learned new moves that resulted in an even more impressive figure for the bodybuilding stage. Some of these exercises are weighted armor carriers, overhead straight arm extension of the chest and lateral muscles, and also hanging laying raises for an impressive midsection. Cassia always starts her workout with a heavy compound movement. This means she uses her stored up energy to create as much force as possible through demanding exercises such as squats, deadlifts, and other compound movements. Coming up next is a more familiar name. But before that, hit like and subscribe below so I keep bringing you hot girls. I mean videos.
Nicole Fuchs was an American bodybuilder, actress, professional wrestler, and wrestling valet. She worked for companies such as Extreme Championship Wrestling, World Wrestling Federation, and XPW. This big mama made numerous appearances on The Howard Stern Show and took part as a contestant in Stern's 1993 pay-per-view television event, the Miss Howard Stern New Year's Eve pageant. She then became a member of the show's Whack Pack and appeared in Stern's movie Private Parts. She made guest appearances on four soap operas, The Bold and the Beautiful, and Days of Our Lives in 1991, and General Hospital and Guiding Light. Girlfriend Kristen Marone posted a statement on Bass's official Facebook page stating that the bodybuilder had been hospitalized after being found unconscious in her apartment. Later that day, she was declared brain dead. Her family and friends were with her that evening as she was taken off life support. Bass died of a heart attack on February 17th at the age of 52. Barbie Thomas has been competing against able-bodied women in bodybuilding for over a decade. She can take them up on dance, soccer, and swimming competitions. The mother of two mentions there is little she cannot do. She shrugs off the amount of effort it takes to compete as a bodybuilder, but just like any other mom, Barbie feels that raising two teenage boys is backbreaking. Thomas lost her arms in an accident when she was two years old. She had climbed onto a transformer and grabbed the wires with both hands. Her mother was distraught and thought her little girl would never be happy. But almost immediately, young Barbie started to adapt, holding out her legs to hug her mother. In addition to her gym workout, Mrs. Thomas does some modeling and has now set her sights on some movie parts. The kick-ass mom is also giving motivational speeches to help others reach for their goals. She has been one of the biggest bodybuilders despite her challenge. She is one of the most unusually beautiful bodybuilders. Heba is a young, famous fitness trainer and social media influencer who was born in the United States. The fitness fanatic turned social media star's slim waistline is so gorgeous that it attracts haters and lovers in equal measure. Fitness is her only career, and at the time of preparing this video, she had more than 950,000 followers on her official Instagram handle. Ever since she became famous on Instagram, her success hasn't stopped. Heba Ali is one of the most sought-after influencers for fitness food, drinks, gadgets, and clothes. She takes great care of her body by working out regularly. Yoga and field exercises are her daily must-do. But as you know, a meal plan is very necessary for a strong and fit body. She has a perfect body shape, smooth skin, shiny hair, slim waistline, gorgeous smile, and great personality. Don't you wish she was your girlfriend? But hey, there are more where that came from. Donna Moore is a British strongwoman and winner of the 2016, 2017, and 2019 World's Strongest Woman competitions. She also took the 2016 and 2017 Arnold's World Strong Woman Championship and 2018 Arnold Pro Strong Woman Championship. Moore is the world record holder for the Ard Blair Stones set with a time of 37.14 seconds. In 2020, Moore set a world record for the Women's Castle Atlas Stone with a 170 kilogram lift at the Rogue Fitness Record Breakers. The three-time World's Strongest Woman added to her current world record in the Atlas Stone by lifting a 171 kilogram weight over the 48-inch platform. Moore is a single mother of two and is from Colburn, North Yorkshire in England. She has been competing since 2012. No need to go to Tinder and all, this babe is ready to sweep you off your feet. At just 21, Vilma Olsen of Sweden has already made a name for herself in competitive powerlifting. She is a pro in the 72 kilogram weight class. Olsen made her debut with a win at the Svenska Strelevska Fundubont in the sub-junior division and has since competed 16 times. Out of those, the loaded beauty has won 12 events. She took to her Instagram page to demonstrate an absolutely colossal 463-pound squat. That weight is substantial because it is 14 pounds over the current International Powerlifting Federation World Record squat by Angelina Elokovia of Russia. It is also 43 pounds over the current IPF Junior Squat World Record. Olsen herself holds this title from the 2019 Powerlifting Federation's European Classic Championships. The biggest win thus far in Olsen's career are her most recent at the aforementioned 2019 European Classic Championships, a title she first won in the same division in 2018. She also holds a silver medal from the 2018 IPF 6th World Classic Powerlifting Championships. Can you guess what she will look like in a few years? 
Rocky Giovanni is an American fitness instructor, bodybuilding motivation coach, and social media influencer. She is of Puerto Rican and Haitian descent and well known for her toned muscular body. Giovanni started lifting weight in 2015. With consistency and a strict diet plan, the results started to show in no time. Reports from multiple sources have it that she runs one mile in six minutes and trains for eight hours daily as part of her workout routine. The Power Girl started sharing videos of her workout routine on social media. They garnered attention and a curious fan base fast. So she eventually became an online fitness trainer. Because of her unique fitness modification needs, she is very conscious of her nutrition and always on a diet to stay healthy too. The American fitness model and trainer currently has an estimated net worth of between one and $500,000. Giovanni has never been married and the identity of her boyfriend is also unknown. Dude, you break her heart, she breaks your jaw. Bam. If you have watched Nick's Strength and Power, you may be familiar with the names RX Muscle, Greg Duchette, and Nick Trigili. But there are female bodybuilders who are stronger than these dudes. Whether or not you appreciate women's sports, one thing is undeniable. The level of dedication and hard work it takes to transform one's body like Jay Fuchs requires a great deal of respect. Jacqueline J. Fuchs is a Swiss professional female bodybuilder. Her achievements in various competitions have led to experts to describe her as one of the 10 best female bodybuilders in the world. On July 2016, Fuchs won the IFBB Chicago Pro. The victory qualified her to vie for the crown of professional female bodybuilder at the Rising Phoenix World Championships that September. Fuchs was placed 12th overall. In 2018, she took third place in the IFBB Chicago Pro Championships and 11th in the IFBB WOS Rising Phoenix World Championships. Let me guess, the judges were more scared of the other 10. She is one of the most unusual bodybuilders. Heather Grace is an NPC national figure competitor and aspiring fitness model. She is interested in generating exposure. No, not that kind exposure in the fitness industry and hopes to present a muscular and very feminine aesthetic. Grace has clarified in her profile that she is not interested in doing nude work, but she is proud of her body and would love to showcase her work. Ultimately, she hopes to be featured in fitness-related publications and to represent physique-oriented products. She is a lifelong athlete as well as a graduate of Columbia University and works as a commodities consultant and personal trainer. The muscled model also hopes to inspire others to follow in her footsteps. Just give the order, Heather. Who would resist? Ernestine Shepard is an American bodybuilder who is best known for being, at one point, the oldest competitive female bodybuilder in the world. This was declared by the Guinness Book of World Records in 2010. As of 2022, she is 87 years old and still an active, although no longer competitive, bodybuilder. Shepard was a model in Baltimore for years. At 56, she and her sister, Mildred Blackwell, went to try on swimsuits and decided their bodies were out of shape. That's when they started taking aerobics classes. Mildred began competing in bodybuilding shows under the name Velvet, and soon Ernestine followed as Ernie. Sadly, Velvet died in early 1990s following a brain aneurysm. Ernie carries on her bodybuilding career in part to remember her sister. Since the age of 56, she has won two titles as well as participated in nine marathons. She leads exercise classes for seniors at the Union Memorial United Methodist Church in Baltimore and works as a personal trainer. The powerful Golden Girl published a book entitled Determined, Dedicated, Disciplined to be Fit. She appeared briefly in Black is King by Beyonce. Alicia Young is the American bodybuilder who won the NPC USA Championships in 2014. At her largest, her biceps measured over 18 inches and her quads over 28. My waist is 27. That's smaller than her thigh. Young comes from an athletic family. Her father is a retired bodybuilder, her brother plays American football and ice hockey, and her sister is also into ice hockey. Alicia first trained in softball, cheerleading, basketball, and soccer. It was not until the age of 15 that she began bodybuilding alongside her father. Young lives near her hometown of Salt Lake City. She is divorced and has a daughter named Olivia. She took first place in the 2014 MPC USA Championship and in the 2019 Chicago Pro Championships. In the 2020 IFBB WOS Rising Phoenix World Championships, Young came in fourth. We've been dancing around this name quite a bit, but it's time we faced her. Murray has both a record-holding sprinter and varsity cheerleader. 
She has won eight overall Miss Olympia titles and has two other professional wins in her weight class. The celebrated muscle girl is the second most successful female bodybuilder ever after Iris Kyle. Murray has done commentary for bodybuilding events on ESPN. She was introduced into the IFBB Hall of Fame in 2010. In March the following year, she became a member of the National Fitness Hall of Fame and received the award from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Every year, the Linda Murray Bodybuilding Figure and Bikini Championships happened at the Norfolk State University, and Linda is the promoter and organizer. Murray is a spokeswoman for Wings of Strength and also a nutritionist. She supports old school labs in bringing back the golden era of bodybuilding and fitness with supplements that make sense. The bodybuilding legend owns the nutritional products company, Crystal Planet Nutrition. Murray has done many videos to help others with their pursuit of fitness. She has been a professional cheerleader, a physical fitness trainer, a private trainer to professional wrestlers, athletes, and others, and she tried out professional wrestling for the World Wrestling Federation in 1997. If you're a single and lonely, this girl is available to lift your, well, to lift your spirits. I hear Kim is single again. Oana Repka is an IFBB pro bodybuilder. She won her first championship in 2001 at the Romanian National Championship Juniors and her first international trophy in 2006. She graduated from Alexandru Iona Crusa University in 2004 with a degree in sports education and again in 2006 with a master's in sports management and marketing. In 2010, she received her second bachelor's degree in kinesiotherapy. That's literally movement therapy and it is the therapeutic treatment of disease by passive and active muscular movements, as by massage and exercise. Want to get that shoulder checked? Holler at a girl. Awana's parents died when she was three years old and she was adopted. The big girl has four sisters. She started competing in field games like javelin, hammer, and shot put when she was 13. Later, she moved to weightlifting while studying sports at university. In 2017, she posted a photo with Linda Murray. The caption indicated that she had never met the one and only Linda Murray, who was a true legend and inspiration to many. Let's face it, you can't beat this girl. Not in class, not outside, and definitely not in any room in the house. Strong, African-American, and sweet. Iris Floyd Kyle is an American professional female bodybuilder. She is currently the most successful female professional bodybuilder ever, with 17 titles, including 10 overall Miss Olympia wins and 7 overall Miss International wins. In 2013, Kyle was ranked the best female bodybuilder in the IFBB Pro Women's Bodybuilding Ranking List. Steven Wienerstorm, the IFBB Women's Historian, wrote a photo report in the Women's Physique World December 1996 issue called Keep an Eye on Iris Kyle. In 1996, the NPC USA Championships, Iris came in second to Heather Foster in the heavyweight category. Two years later at the NPC USA Championships in the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, she edged out Foster by one point in the final tally. This was after having shared first place judges votes with her rival. With that extra point, Kyle won the heavyweight overall NIFBB Pro card at the age of 22, weighing 150 pounds. Did I mention she has won 17 overall IFBB professional titles and three IFBB professional heavyweight titles? This strong babe has more IFBB professional overall wins than any female bodybuilder. Of those wins, 10 are overall Miss Olympia titles and two professional heavyweight wins in her weight class. Who shocked you the most? Have you seen anyone like them in real life? Let us know in the comments below. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.